Hey parents, this week we are talking about early childhood socialization, specifically infants and toddlers, because many parents are told that if they want their kiddos to be successful in daycare, in preschool, in kindergarten, they have to start socializing with other kids really early. But here's the thing, if you as an adult want to learn a new skill, you learn it from someone who already has that skill. If you want to learn to play piano, you don't go to another tone-deaf 40-year-old and muddle through it together. You go to someone who's an expert in that area. Infant and toddler socialization is no different. Infants begin learning how to socialize the moment they arrive in the world. When you smile and coo and they babble and you babble back, all of that is the beginning of that reciprocity and that it's called contingent communication and that's the beginning of how they learn those um, relational skills when they cry and you respond with comfort with soothing you are teaching them how to socialize when they get a little older and you're playing with them peekaboo is how they learn to socialize when they're wrestling with you and they say stop and you have the self-control to stop you're teaching them about boundaries. You're demonstrating for them the self-control and the respect and the empathy that they're going to need to be successful in their future socialization. Putting a bunch of infants in a room together or a bunch of toddlers in a room together is not the best way for them to learn how to socialize. Parent groups are a wonderful way for adults to socialize. Parenting is hard, it is often lonely, and you need people in the trenches with you who understand and who can empathize. And often that means bringing your tiny kiddos along with you to those groups. I highly recommend it. It's amazing for parents to get together and have those socialization, socialization opportunities. But have you ever watched what happens if you like leave a couple of 18 month olds in the room together without the parents right there? They're climbing on each other. They're taking things away from each other. It kind of turns into a free-for-all if their interactions aren't being micromanaged by the parents. It's okay. It's developmentally appropriate. They're just not ready yet. They will get there by learning from you, from parents, from aunts and uncles, from grandparents, from older siblings, from older cousins, from trusted family friends. Those interactions that they have with people in their lives who are older and already know how to socialize, that's the key. This was particularly true during the pandemic. Had a lot of parents reaching out, worried that their kiddos were not spending enough time with other kiddos the same age. And I was able to reassure them, it's okay, because that's not how they learn. So, by all means, socialize with other parents because it supports you. But truly, the best gift you can give your infants and your toddlers in terms of socialization is for them to spend time playing with you, interacting with you, and learning from you. It's one of the reasons why I love a Montessori classroom environment where it's mixed ages, because you've got these three-year-olds learning from five-year-olds who already have a better handle on the socialization. If you have any questions or you would like to learn more about how you can support infant and toddler socialization within your household, book a Connect with Kate call. I would love to talk with you.